guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 22 of Hidogata Sky Pretty Here. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me. <laughs> It's almost full, so maybe at least by next week's episode? Like, what, a quarter left, maybe? Hello. Yes, my big boy. Oh, you okay? Mm -hmm. You soft. <laughs> hey, here. You go lay on the bed. Wait. There you go. Mm -hmm. If, if that is really her, why didn't she report? Oh. Why didn't she report back? That's weird. <laughs> Aww. Oh my god. <laughs> Mm. 
Right? I thought, like, after she got the memo, she would have immediately put that in her notebook. That's just literally, in my opinion, be on the first page. Like, I know she's already written something on the first page, but still. She's hand baby. Aww. <laughs> oh. But she's already gone. I don't know, she's still there. She leaning her though. Let's see, and she's not speak. Oh, mm -hmm. just an illusion. Oh, well, if she was real, she wouldn't have attacked her. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I 
I can watch that I could like so many times. It feels weird since we haven't had like a quote-unquote full transformation since Butterfly and that was only like a couple of weeks ago. But still, it, it feels nice. I do like it. It just, mm, it just, it feels good when you get to have it come back for a little while. Is it me or does this feel, feel like too easy? Like hella too easy. Dark Kate. That's where she's been the whole fucking time!
So my thing is, how are they going to stop it if that's Captain Shella at the same time? Of course, of course Sora can't hurt her because Sora's relationship with her. Now, Agatha, if she really wanted to, yes, she could really defeat her, but oh god. Oh. <sighs> Maybe. Titanic rainbow shouldn't hurt her. Nah, he's waiting for y'all to do that. Mm hmm. Same day. So even if they purify her, she will still die. episode might end on a cliffhanger. So we got like what? One, two, four... <laughs> This ended on a cliffhanger.
There has to be, but we won't know until next week. Or really this weekend. No. That's still purifying it. I don't know how to feel right now. I, I don't because they they literally is like, hey, we're gonna do the same thing we did from Yes Breaker Five with cutting, and we're gonna make it even more sadder, but with Sora. Oh my god! But I, I get it. I truly, truly get it. It kind of also gives you feels to go princess, where it's like Kinada didn't really want to be a pretty care, but she still kept her stuff with her until she's like, you know what? I want to do this. This episode was good, but sad towards the ending. And now realizing that Captain Chella is... <sighs> She's one of them. And her life force is in there. And it's like, this is a really hard decision for Sora. Because it's just like, do we destroy the one person we care about? Or do we have her destroy them? <sighs> I'm stumped. And, and they are too. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Back to the reading closer to the movie. But Jesus. Mm. I don't know how this is gonna go next week. Or really this weekend. I feel for her. The, this was a truly sad episode and it hurts even more because it is Sora and she is our main girl and you just you don't want anything bad to happen to anybody in Pretty Care but when it is the main lead and they have episodes focused on them that, that really get into the dark depressing moments of this show It hurts. I think it hurts a lot more than just almost like anything else I've watched with like dark depressing moments. I mean, because baby, Captain Chilla is her everything. That is her idol. That is the one person who came out and saved her. So she holds her to a T and to see her idol, someone who she really cares about, her being used by bad guys, she feels like her whole world is over. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, also, hence why she's also, like, battling her inner monologues and thoughts and being like, I don't want to fight anymore, and her losing her right to become a pretty girl. And so now we're going into next week where she has to, once again, get into her feelings of why she became a pretty girl in the first place. So it, it is a very tragic episode, and I hope that when this, um, when 23 comes out this weekend, um... It, it It's really good. Even better than this. I also love the fact that Machido is becoming a leader up in this. Because, of course, since Sora is no longer our girl who's in the front, of course, Machido has to now step up as a friend and a leader now. Because she is the new leader up until Sora officially comes back. But it's just going to take her... A little time. It might even take her the first half of the episode or even the whole episode... 
in order for her to officially be a pretty hero once again. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 22 of Hit God of Sky Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day to my squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all either Saturday or Sunday for episode 23. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.